Ladies and gents, welcome back to the Beer Beer View channel. Back for another review. Shout out again to my buddy Tommy. New brewery to the channel, I believe. I don't think I've done anything from Aslan. Aslan, Aslan, not sure how you say it. Anyway, this is Juan de Bolas Imperial Stout with Jamaican Blue Mountain Coffee, Blueberry, Cocoa Nibs, and Coconut. 15% ABV. Keep cold, drink fresh, store at 35 to 45 degrees, recycle or die. Brewed in Hendon, Virginia. No date on the can. Nope, no dates on the can. Um, but kind of got this like Miami Vice, Cuban looking vibe thing going on, I guess. You can see the can right there. Enough talking into the glass. Let's talk about all the things I love in this beer. Everything. Uh, I love coffee, I love blueberry, I love cocoa nibs, and I love coconut. Here's the thing, I've said it a million times. This beer, this beer will get dinged big time if it doesn't taste like coconut. If you put coconut on, on a can for me, I want it to taste like coconut. There's a beard hair on that. Into the untapped glass we go because I don't have an Aslan glass. Here we go. Ooh, pouring out really dark cola color. Um, we've talked about this before, coconut fat will cut through the head so I'm expecting this to have a lot of coconut in it there was no head you saw that hissed and dissipated there is some alcohol leg sticking to the side of the glass but we're sitting uh, pitch black it looks like an imperial stout y'all the smell coconut <laughs> how much do I love some coconut let's turn this around um, so yeah, we got we got a coconut, we got coconut on the nose. A lot of it. Let's get a nose on it. So you got coconut, you've got coffee, there's chocolate, sweet chocolate coming off of it. Um, a hint of that blueberry. A lot of coffee and coconut though. I mean, smells really, really good. A little bit of roastiness too. Some dark roasted malts coming off this thing. I hope the taste follows the nose. This smells amazing. All I would say every single thing that is on this can is on the nose. Coffee, blueberry, chocolate, and coconut. It's all there. Yeah, it smells fabulous. Fabulous. All right, let's get a taste. Oh, did y'all hear that? That was my, oh. Man, oh man. Okay. Sweet, mouthfeel, almost full, a little chewy, oily. The front of this beer is blueberry, coconut, sweet, cocoa, baker's chocolate washes into more coconut and a huge lingering amount of coffee like a black cup of coffee it is mixed in with this dark roasted malt with a hint of that bitterness from an imperial stout on the roast the finish This is up there. 15%, y'all. 15%. I get no booze, no alcohol in the mouth. None. A little bit of heat in the chest. To be expected at 15%. But there's no real boozy amount to this beer. It is hidden so well behind the adjuncts. I can't, I mean, it is so, this beer is really, really good. The, I just can't describe, I, there's no words to describe how pleasant the leftover coffee and coconut is on my palate. It is so, it is, it's so sweet on the front with that blueberry 
and the chocolate, and it finishes with this wonderful coffee coconut oiliness that is just left all over my mouth. It is fabulous. Um, th this was a this was a winner, uh, big time. If you can get your hands on this can, Juan de Bolas, I can't recommend it enough. I have no. I have no complaints about this beer. No critique, nothing. This beer is fantastic from the nose, from the start to the finish. Uh, well done. Uh, Tommy, uh, one of the best beers you brought me, no doubt. Uh, thank you guys so much for checking it out. I know this is like a, this is a big hype review. It's like, oh, you know, I feel like Hunnits, hashtag Hunnits, whatever. I don't do scores, but this is a, fa this is a fabulous, fantastic beer. Uh, until next time, y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.